Now, this is WASI 2020 elective mass question number 14. The ends X and Y of an inextensible string 27 meters long are fixed at two points on the same horizontal line, which are 20 meters apart. So let's see. So let's suppose that we have this horizontal line. Let's suppose that X is here. Y is also over there. Okay, and then the length is 20, 20 meters. The ends X and Y of an inextensible string 27 meters long are fixed at two points on the same horizontal line, which are 20 meters apart. So X and Y 20 meters apart. Now the length of the string is 27 meters. Now let's say a particle of mass 7.5 is suspended from a point P on the string 12 meters from X. So from X, let's suppose that so we have, if there's a string and then a particle is suspended here. So this is a particle P. Now the weight, we know weight is mass time acceleration due to gravity. In this case, we're given the mass to be 7.5, acceleration due to gravity to be 10. So this would just be, that is 7.5 times 10, and this is just 75 newtons. Now let's see, we want to, at an XP, we're giving this one to be, that is 15, is it 15? Um, P on the string 12 meters from X. So this is 12 meters, this 12 meters. Hence the total is 27. So if this is 12, then this is 15 meters. Now when you rule horizontal line, parallel to the horizontal line over there. Now let's see, let's suppose that this is theta and then this is alpha. Now this will be our tension, this will be T1, T1, and then this is also T2 for us to find. And here clearly we can use the, so this is the A, we can use the cosine rule to find the angles. The second one says that calculate correct to two decimal places the angle YXP, so the angle here, then the angle also over there. Now, let's reduce it to this, this triangle. Now, if this is X, this is Y, and then this is P. Now, let's suppose that this one is theta. Let's suppose this is alpha. And let's suppose that this one is beta. Now this is 20, this is 12 meters, and then this is 15 meters. This is not right angle triangle, so we would be using the cosine rule. Now, so from the cosine rule, from the cosine rule, cosine rule, now I want to find the angle here, so the square of where the angle is facing. So that is 15 square, equal to 20 square plus 12 square minus 2 times 20 times 12 cos the angle which is theta. Now 15 square that is 2 to 5. 20 square that is 400 plus 144 minus 2 times 20 that is um, 40 times this and this is just 480 cos theta. Now when we work it out, so we have 2 to 5 equal to, that will be 5, 4, 4, minus we have 480 cos theta. So this one should go in, this one should come here. So we have 480 cos theta equal to 5, 4, 4, minus 2, 2, 5. And when we work out this, we are getting 319. We have 480 cos theta. So clearly, cos theta will be 319 all over 480. So our theta is cos inverse of 319 
all over 480. And working out this on a calculator, this will give us, that is 48.3496. Now to two decimal places, we are going to get 48.35 degrees. That is the angle theta. So therefore, our angle y x p y x p is 48.35 degrees now let's also find angle x y p that is angle alpha now where the angle is facing that is 12 square so you have 12 square equal to 20 square plus 15 square minus 2 times 20 times 15 cos alpha now working working it out so this is 144 now 20 square plus 15 square this will give us 625 minus 600 cos alpha now this should go here and this should come here so you have 600 cos alpha equal to 625 minus 144 so 600 cos alpha 625 minus 144 to give us 481. Clearly, our alpha is cos inverse of 481 all over 600. And when we work out this on the calculator, this is 36.7104 and approximately 36.71. Therefore, what is the angle that we are looking for? That is angle XYP. Angle X. YP, this is 36.71 degrees. That is very, very easy and trivial. If you've not subscribed, please make sure that you do that. Now, so we've sought for that is the angle, it says to two decimal places YXP and then XYP. So here, that's 48.35, and then this one is 36.75. If you want to find beta, Sum of angles in a triangle equal to 180. That is theta plus alpha plus beta equal to 180 degrees. So this is 48.35 degrees plus 36.71 degrees plus beta equal to 180 degrees. So working out this, our beta is just 180 degrees minus 48.35 degrees minus 36.71 degrees. And that's just 94.94 degrees. That is the beta. Now let's see. So from our diagram, so this is x, this is y, this is 20 meters, this is 12. This 12 meters, this 15 meters, so this is where the particle P, this is where the particle P is. Now let's bring a horizontal line over here. Now this line is parallel to the line over here. Now the angle over here is 48.35 degrees. And then the angle to over here is 36.71 degrees now the angle here would alternate to the angle over here so this is also 48.35 degrees and then this will also alternate to the angle over here so that's 36.71 degrees now if you want the angle from all this side to this side now this is 90 degrees 90 plus um, 36 so that would be 126.71 degrees and then the angle from here all the way to this side now the angle over here um, the angle here that is 48 plus the angle here is this is 90 this is also 90 so that will be 138.35 degrees. That is the angle from here to this side. And then the angle here, 
the angle over here, this angle is um, 94.94 degrees. Now, this is our T1, so this is our T1, and then this is our T2. Now, if you want to find T1, now, we use the Lamy's principle, and what does the Lamy's principle say? So from the Lamy's principle, from Lamy's principle, what can we say? We can say that sine, that is sine 138.35 degrees all over T2 is equal to, is equal to, you can see, sine 94.94 all over, that is, this is, the weight, our weight is M, Mg. So, clearly, our M, our mass is 7.5, and then our acceleration due to gravity is 10. So if you are looking for um, T to, what do you do? We cross multiply. Hence, our T2 will just be when we cross multiply. We are going to get 7.5, that is 75, 7.5 times 10. So there will be 75 sine 38.35 degrees all over sine 9, 94 point. 94 and when we work out this on the calculator this is giving us 50.02922 but then the question says to the nearest hundredth so to the nearest hundredth that's two decimal places 50.03 newtons now for the t1 for the t1 we can use the angle over here. Also from the Lamy's principle, so sine 126.71 all over, that is T1. From Lamy's principle, so this over this is equal to sine 94.94 all over mg. Our m is 7.5 and then our acceleration due to gravity is 10. So from here, when we cross multiply, so we get 7 point, so, that was, so we are going to get 75 sine 126.71 equal to T1 sine 94.9. For we want to find T1, hence our T1 is 75 sine 126.71 all over, all over, sine 94.94 and when we work out this when we work out this on the calculator we are getting 60.3495 and then to the nearest hundred that's two decimal place that'll be 60.35 new things